Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty, black with the purple strip. The day after, Odell's back on presser. Uh, just a few quick things um, that he said that I liked. He said he has the underdog and everything like that. And I know some people I've seen on Twitter that some people was like, man, he they were saying he's like the Jerry Rice and um, Marco Jordan when he was younger in his neighborhood. He, he wasn't no underdog. And I'm like, you, that, 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 to me, in my opinion, that doesn't mean anything because that is in your city. You can be the best in your city, but once you go out that side that city, you can see a lot of things are different. Even he said he's like a four-star recruit. I remember J.J. Watt. I think J.J. Watt was like a three-star. So a lot of that stuff, it, it motivates players. Now he's, he has that motivation where... A lot of people saying, you know, the, the two ACL tears, he ain't going to have it no more. He's going to be losing step. He's not the same Odell. That's going to motivate him. And I'm hoping that he will ball out on that. Then on top of that, some uh, – what? Okay, it's like some on top of that, he even said he want to bring fun to the team. Like, he want to bring fun to the offense. And the only people that I can think right off the top of my head was bringing fun to the offense was Lamar. That's it. A little bit of Mark Andrews, but mainly Lamar. That's it. All right. That's all I can think of, in my opinion. That's all that brought fun to the offense. Now, he said he spoke with Lamar and all of that. You know, that's up to Harbs and um, Harbs and Eric to do that negotiation and everything. And everything that, you know, to bring them back. Then while the presser is going, Lamar on IG put out a video of him at the Ravens facility. It was an old video, but was that like a hint of saying, hey, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. We don't know. We don't know. I do believe that the, the signing of Odell is is um, the, the Ravens' way of trying to say, hey, we messed up. We're, we're going to get you weapons. Let, let's negotiate with a long contract because Eric DeCosta did say he want to sign Lamar with a long-term deal. Now, is his long-term deal – a three-year, a four-year, and Lamar is wanting more than that, but we don't know. But I do like the fact that Odell Beckham uh, said he want to be that, that mentor. He want to be that mentor, bring the fun. Um, you know, they asked him how does he feel because he played in New York and, and L.A., like really lively cities. Where a lot of attention happens in those cities. Like, how does that feel? Is that different? Some something different to him? Because he's like out here in Baltimore. It's not like New York and L.A. And he's like, I played in Cleveland. Like, that's really boring out there. I know, I know, Baltimore is a lot more live than Cleveland. But that was cool to say. But he seems like he was just really chill. He's uh, got the chip on his shoulder. That's going to be awesome. He, he got my boy James Prochet number. And I know a lot of people been dragging, uh, dragging James Prochet. Like, hey, he got your number and all of that. Um, I don't really, I just like, that. that's, I know it's Twitter. I know it's like the internet, but. You know, that dude, he got to feel some way about that. All right. He's had his chances, but I remember two chances that he had. He uh he was balling. I remember one, two times he was balling. I think that was like last year. 
He was balling. Two good, two back to back good games. Then they took him out. And it was like, was he getting too overconfident? That Harvest didn't like that. But it's just like to me, it's I don't know. I don't know. He messed up a lot last year. You know. And I like that last play. People said, man, you should have called that. That ball wasn't even going to him. But even if you like, yeah, you can look at a steel pitcher, but in live action, can't defy gravity and just yank your body, you know, toward it. But that's that's another topic for another day. But hopefully Odell can um, mentor some of the wide receivers we have. I know he's cool with Rashad. So that's going to be really good to see him and Rashad out there. Even if they add someone else, like a D-Hop. We all want D-Hop. Or a um, Jarvis. That would be cool, too, on a low, low, you know, low money-wise. But hopefully we, uh, hopefully, I'm really hoping he balls out and prove a lot of people wrong. It's a lot of haters. Like I said in my last video, a lot of people talking about they overpaid, but they ain't going to their HR saying they overpaid. So that's why I hush on that money talk. Because if I received that type of money, I wouldn't be complaining. And neither would y'all. But anyway, I'm looking forward to that for the season. I'm really hyped about the draft. I still got to do my, my top five wide receivers that I, that if the Ravens get either one of them, I'm good. Maybe two of them, I'm good. But, yeah. So, I'm, I'm going to make some time to do that because I've been working crazy over time. Like 12 hour days. But anyway, y'all stay safe. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the uh, presser as well. Um, really just, I really just thought it was just cool. I thought it was cool. I thought it was good. Even Harbs and Eric DaCosta. Um, their talk, it was to me, it was really cool. It was really cool. Even Odell um, said, you know, like, hi, Lamar. Like, hey, bro. I'm really, I'm, I think he's really saying, like, I'm here for you. For you. And I don't want nobody else throwing to me. But I know they wanted to keep that on the DL as the uh, negotiations work out. So, yeah, I like that little shout out he gave Lamar. And. I think Lamar is gonna be gonna be back. I think they're gonna work out something. But if I'm gonna play some Michael Jackson heal the world and try to make the Ravens facility a better place. Because they're gonna have to make up with each other and apologize to each other. And hopefully no one has an ego trip and they can keep going. And keep this train moving. So, but anyway, hopefully you all enjoyed the presser as I did. It was kind of, it was kind of chill in the in the chat. wasn't really no spam. You know, other people, other teams, other fans of teams in there. I seen one person said fire Greg Roman. I was like, well, I don't know where they been, but I ain't gonna you no know, comment on that. I saw my fam huddled up uh, films in there. Give a shout out, but yeah, anyway, I'm just babbling it. So, uh, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe and God bless.